Ships are masterfully designed with distinct purposes in mind, often showcasing remarkable structures that enhance stability and performance even in the toughest conditions. Thanks to cutting-edge technology and innovative design, these vessels not only meet complex logistical demands, but also promote greater environmental sustainability. As the maritime industry advances, bold and unconventional ship designs continue to captivate the imagination, celebrating the creativity and brilliance needed to navigate today's oceans. From sleek aerodynamic hulls that boost fuel efficiency to powerful submersible vessels built for heavy lift feats, here are some of the most unusual ship designs. RP Flip The RP Flip is a semi-submersible open ocean research platform built by Gunderson Brothers Engineering and operated by the Scripps Institution of Oceanography in the United States. Designed for the study of wave height, acoustic signals, water temperature and density, as well as the collection of meteorological data, the vessel features a groundbreaking design centered around its unique hull configuration. During missions, the platform partially floods and rotates backward 90 degrees, transforming into a vertical position that offers exceptional stability in rough seas. Once operations are complete, compressed air is pumped into the ballast tanks, returning the platform to a horizontal position so it can be towed to its next location as the vessel lacks propulsion of its own. From a distance, the RP flip in operation can appear as though it is capsizing. Unlike conventional ships, its innovative design maintains a low center of gravity, greatly reducing the risk of capsizing and allowing it to withstand heavy wave action. This adaptability is particularly valuable for offshore applications, including oil and gas exploration. The RP Flip's dual mode capability, transitioning between standard towing configuration and its flipped operational mode, enhances both safety and efficiency. Its distinctive design not only improves operational stability, but also facilitates the effective deployment of research equipment in demanding marine environments. City of St. Petersburg Not referring to Russia's city of St. Petersburg, but rather a roll-on slash roll-off cargo ship made by Kyokuyo Shipyard Corporation for the Nissan Motor Company Limited. Engineered with a distinctive semi-spherical bow, the vessel reduces wind resistance, cutting fuel consumption by 800 tons and lowering carbon dioxide emissions by 2,500 tons annually. It is the world's first ship to feature a semi-spherical bow with a fully aerodynamic hull design above the waterline. The SSS bow design reduces wind resistance by up to 50% and is capable of operating in the challenging hydrographic and meteorological conditions of the North Atlantic without compromising cargo capacity. The ship also boasts a unique pillar-free structure on all decks, enhancing cargo handling efficiency. Measuring 4,593 feet in length, with a gross weight of 21,000 tons, it can transport up to 2,000 vehicles. Unlike conventional ships, the city of St. Petersburg features an airplane-like nose that enhances both aerodynamics and fuel efficiency. In recognition of its innovative design and outstanding performance, it was named Ship of the Year in 2010. Boca Vanguard the Boca Vanguard, formerly known as the Dockwise Vanguard, is a submersible heavy-lift vessel owned and operated by Dockwise BV designed with a strong emphasis on functionality and versatility. It holds the title as the largest ship of its kind ever constructed, capable of transporting up to 110,000 tons of cargo. As a multi-purpose offshore support vessel, its distinctive hull shape enhances stability and performance in rough seas. A broad beam combined with a bulbous bow minimizes wave resistance, enabling smoother navigation and improved fuel efficiency. The vessel is equipped with dynamic positioning systems, allowing it to maintain precise station keeping during complex tasks such as deep sea construction and rig support. Its expansive deck and modular layout accommodate a wide range of heavy equipment and cargo configurations. Furthermore, Modern accommodations provide a comfortable environment for both crew and onboard specialists. The Boca Vanguard's innovative design 
seamlessly balances high performance with adaptability for demanding offshore operations. MPI Adventure The MPI Adventure is a wind turbine installation vessel built in 2010 by Cosco Nantong Shipyard in China. Powered by six Rolls-Royce Bergen C25, 33 L8 diesel engines driving three bow thrusters, the ship is manned by a crew of 112, with accommodations for up to 200 personnel. In 2016, it undertook its first mission, installing offshore wind turbines at the Sandbank Offshore Wind Farm. The vessel is equipped with six stabilizing legs that can be deployed to enhance balance, along with a massive crane designed specifically to lift turbine blades and components for installation. As a self-elevating turbine installation vessel, the first of its kind in the world, it operates with three azimuth thrusters and three bow thrusters, achieving a cruising speed of 12.5 knots. Measuring 454 feet in length and boasting a gross tonnage of 14,739, the MPI Adventure can carry a load of up to 7,095 tons. While its appearance is unconventional, the vessel plays a crucial role in advancing offshore wind energy projects throughout Europe, efficiently installing wind generators in marine environments. Ramform Hyperion The Ramform Hyperion is a highly stable platform engineered for seismic exploration missions, ensuring smooth and efficient offshore operations. Sailing under the Norwegian flag, this Titan-class research vessel is capable of accommodating virtually any acquisition design, delivering industry-leading safety, quality, and productivity. What sets the ship apart is its distinctive shape, featuring a narrow bow and a broad stern. The wide aft section minimizes unwanted noise during geolocation surveys, ensuring accurate seismic readings. This broad rear also provides remarkable stability, allowing the vessel to glide silently through the water without disrupting data collection. Twin, mutually redundant engine rooms generate a combined 26.4 megawatts of power, driving three controllable pitch propellers. The ship is equipped with 24 streamer reels, 16 positioned abreast, and eight in a second row, offering exceptional flexibility and efficiency for large-scale seismic data acquisition. Its expansive aft deck also features six independent source array, handling booms, enabling faster, safer deployment and recovery of equipment, while maximizing operational time within favorable weather windows. Knock Nevis the Nock Nevis, also known as the Seawise Giant, was an ultra-large crude carrier supertanker and holds the record as the longest self-propelled ship in history. Designed by Sumitomo Heavy Industries in Japan, this maritime giant stretched an astounding 1,504 feet in length and boasted a deadweight tonnage of over 564,000 tons, allowing it to transport immense quantities of crude oil. Its double-hull construction enhanced both safety and stability, particularly in rough seas, while a bulbous bow and streamlined form reduced drag, improving fuel efficiency on long voyages. The vessel also featured an advanced conveyance system for the efficient loading and unloading of cargo. Despite its engineering prowess, the Nock Navis was too large to navigate the Suez Canal, the English Channel, or the Panama Canal. Powered by Lungstrom turbines, it could cruise at speeds of up to 16.5 knots. In 2004, the ship was converted into a floating storage and offloading unit and moored at the Al Shaheen oil field off the coast of Qatar. Although decommissioned in 2009, the Nock Nevis remains an enduring subject of interest in maritime history and engineering due to its unprecedented size and distinctive design. Sans Vitesse The Sans Vitesse is a floating hotel designed not for luxury, but as a specialized accommodation unit for oil workers stationed offshore. Its primary purpose is to reduce the transportation costs associated with shuttling workers to and from shore. This remarkable vessel is renowned for its unique design, which prioritizes speed and efficiency. 
Featuring a sleek, elongated hull that minimizes water resistance, the ship glides smoothly across the surface. Its trimaran configuration provides exceptional stability and reduced drag, allowing for high-speed travel even in rough seas while ensuring passenger safety. Additionally, advanced hydrofoil technology lifts the hull partially out of the water, further increasing speed and fuel efficiency. Originally designed for high-speed passenger transport, the Son Vitesse stands out in the maritime industry for its combination of aesthetic appeal and functional engineering. It offers a practical and innovative solution for accommodating personnel working in remote ocean locations. Blue Marlin The Blue Marlin, along with her sister ship MV Black Marlin, forms the Marlin class of semi-submersible heavy-lift vessels built by CSBS Corporation in Taiwan. Operated by Dockwise Shipping of the Netherlands, the Blue Marlin was specifically designed to transport massive submersible drilling rigs atop its expansive deck. The vessel features 38 cabins capable of accommodating up to 60 personnel. Notably, the Blue Marlin was once contracted by the US Navy to transport a damaged destroyer back to the United States after it was attacked by Al-Qaeda suicide bombers while anchored in Yemen. Subsequent upgrades increased the ship's carrying capacity and introduced two retractable propulsors, enhancing maneuverability. Following these enhancements, the vessel successfully delivered the Thunder Horse PDQ oil platform to Corpus Christi for completion. Often hailed as a revolutionary carrier, the Blue Marlin has redefined possibilities in maritime transport with its immense size and capability to carry large ships and oil rigs stacked above deck. Measuring 712 feet in length and 138 feet in width, it remains the world's largest semi-submersible vessel. Pioneering Spirit the Pioneering Spirit is a split-hull crane vessel owned by the All Seas Group of Switzerland, renowned for its groundbreaking design that sets a new standard in maritime engineering. Specifically built for the single-lift installation and removal of large oil and gas platforms, as well as pipeline installation, it measures 382 meters in length, making it the largest construction vessel in the world. Its distinctive twin-hull structure provides exceptional stability and efficiency when handling massive offshore structures. The vessel's expansive deck is engineered to support heavy loads, featuring a world-first single-lift system capable of lifting entire oil platforms in one operation. Equipped with advanced technology, including state-of-the-art dynamic positioning systems, the pioneering spirit can maintain precise positioning even in harsh offshore conditions. Its striking twin-hull design and immense lifting capacity not only enhance operational effectiveness, but also make it a commanding presence at sea, embodying the future of offshore construction and engineering. Polaris Icebreaker the Polaris is a Finnish icebreaker built by Arctec Helsinki Shipyard in 2016, specifically designed for navigating through thick ice and extreme Arctic conditions. As the most powerful icebreaker ever to fly the Finnish flag, it boasts a unique, sharp and reinforced bow shape, allowing it to break through ice by riding over it and using its weight to crush the ice beneath. This innovative design maximizes both maneuverability and ice-breaking capability, making it ideal for polar exploration and resupply missions. The Polaris is equipped with powerful engines and a reinforced hull, enabling it to operate year-round in some of the harshest weather conditions. Its spacious decks and advanced navigation systems ensure safe and efficient operations, making it a crucial asset for scientific research and logistical support in the Arctic. It is the world's first icebreaker to feature dual fuel engines, capable of running on both low sulfur marine diesel and liquefied natural gas. While primarily designed for icebreaking, the Polaris can also serve as an oil spill response vessel during the summer months, helping address the growing challenges of oil transportation in the Baltic Sea.